drink vodka give hug. Yeah, I don't know. This is a lot of latency. Ah, uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of latency. Uh, what we'll do? What we'll do? This is the latency. Several seconds. Uh, probably it's cause restream because I cannot tune this for less latency. This is the minimum latency they can get. Around four or five seconds. Hope the audio, the audio at least is fine. Nine seconds, okay. I think this is the stream. But yeah. What can I do? Let's progress. So, uh, first of all, let's see if I have everything configured properly. Is this on? Yes. Then if I switch focus. Come on. Work. Yes, it works. Okay. So, let's see what we have for today. So, all he's requesting me to try out the MLUA crate. And here is the caveat. I have no idea about the MLUA crate. I have no idea about Lua itself either. Never played with them. No freaking idea. I don't know what I'm up to. And to top it off, we are going to use Bevy. Because... Why not? So... Yeah. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Uh, we have our support from ChatGPT to tell us what to do and how to get started. Hopefully ChatGPT is up to speed and it can uh, create the polar plate for us to start playing. Because right, uh, I think, okay, this is what you want, right? You In, in the end, you are going to try to do this in, um, in Bevy uh, for some kind of plugin support or modding support, right? I don't think. I, I think this is the the actual reasoning. So yeah. Um, also, ChatGPT just solved one of the greatest problems and challenges challenges in coding. I think this is the greatest challenge in, in coding, which is finding a name. And the name is Bivai Lua Demo. I don't like the dashes. I don't like the dashes in a great name. So we are going to put it all together. <laughs> no, uh, ChatGPT didn't came up with Bevy. That was me. Uh, I asked ChatGPT about, like, what is my no knowledge? Uh, what is the problem? So I give the full explanation. You see, I'm, I'm not giving a small input. Still, ChatGPT uh, decided to output uh, a standard approach on how to do a stream. Thanks, ChatGPT. Uh, I know what to do in a stream. So I asked about a demo project. And then the first demo was just MLUA. And that's it. Very simplistic. Like, this doesn't show anything. And like, now... This is intent intended to make a game that has Lua scripting. How we could showcase a typical API of a game between Rust and Lua. Now I'm being very specific. Like, I want this. Stop going around in circles and give me standard answers. I don't want standard answers. I want you to give me some guesswork on how to fit those two together. Do work. Because if you don't do work, then this is the same as going to Google, asking for something and getting a sample from someone else. And then is when it came up with all the solution. So yeah, I mean, it is powerful. That's 
why it's not a search. It's not repeating something that it's saw. Oh yeah, it tends to repeat something that it's saw, but uh, if you press it a bit, you have, have to struggle a bit with it. It goes with it. It it can do, it can do. You just have to know how to work with it. Okay, Viva I Lua Demo. Uh, so, Cargo New, Viva I Lua Demo. Okay. Uh, open folder. Viva I Lua Demo. Open. And hopefully, we have Rust Analyzer working. Yeah. Oh, I call, I call that good enough. Um, that's good. Uh, so first we're going to do is adding the dependencies because the first thing is that ChatGPT has all data. So because of that, it's going to put all the versions. So I want to bring here the versions and let my extensions tell me which is the right version. Oh, and it has hallucinated a version from for Lua. It thinks it's newer. Wow, this is... Oh. Interesting. Spinnings, hello. Yeah. Uh... Okay, um, sorry Spinnings, you're gonna get banned in a few seconds. No promotion of promotion. Sorry about this. Sadly, don't have Twitch open. Ah, for the love of God. Did you take care of that or he or uh, I still need because I'm looking into that. Okay, thank you very much. I didn't have this. Yes, yes, I I, I just noticed that I opened Twitch and I cannot see it anymore. So yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Very, very helpful as usual. Let's close that. Okay. So, first on one, we need to enable one of the features. So, let's go here because I read about this. Uh, there is one recommendation, which is the vendor one here. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. I'm not that. Uh, let's, let's use the, re the recommended way. Like that. Let's wait for cargo to finish. These things that wants to build. Still gonna wait, gonna wait for this. <laughs> okay. Now as you can see we have Bivai with them Lua. All done. Let's close the stream. They can go home. <laughs> Obviously not. Um let's give it a try to the first example from the docs to get a taste on how it works before loading it into Bevy, Bevy or whatever. Uh, cargo run. Okay, that's creating a table, global style, and is loading this and is doing a print. Okay. 
Uh, interesting. Um, what happens if I put here uh, one, two, three, four? X question mark debug. Do we get the return value back? Unexpected symbol. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, Lua program that computes a number that returns or computes. I don't know. Um, You have a concrete example in mind. Okay, feel free to send. Uh, use use matrix for that, please. Mm, unexpected symbol. What? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Um, uh, you're, you're as okay. This, this is probably gonna be too much. Uh, th there are many files here. Um, Uh, okay. I mean, I, I have the other folder. You're referring to the other folder. Which is probably the same, but... This is not gonna load. This is not gonna load. This does not exist. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, turn display time, format time, T. This requires an integer. Not sure this will work all here and this one I'm not sure if it will work no. uh, 
we should be loading this from from file but why is closing the string the point of putting or is not not supported uh, wait is there a multi line is literal ah there is not Ah yes, okay, okay, that's what I want. Uh, but this closes with ah, good. This returns a lower load. La la la. It is a function, so we need to call it. I guess. But it doesn't return anything. Okay. That's what I wanted to try. Okay. Okay, we can. I mean. We can print no? uh, like in the other. We can print here, I guess. And it prints here using the function. Okay, so this return value is crap. Yes, you can call uh, in both directions. You can call uh, Rust from Lua and Lua from Rust, yes. This is part of the thing that we need to do, but like one step at a time. This is so you're already asking the world, and we haven't got anything yet. Yeah. So there's a code, and uh, the print is working. Yes. Okay. And uh, for this particular thing, we are setting global seven that we can share with Lua. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, test from here. This one uh, is an idea to create a Rust function. This one is a Rust function defined here. Okay, let's see. Hello FN is scope create function hello that's creating a function which will be calling this one globals sets hello function as the global hello okay let's see if this works Okay. That is not needed. Okay, but the other error. Takes one argument. Expecting function takes two arguments. Huh. Uh, I wonder if ChatGPT is able to understand the problem. Or um, Yeah, it's outdated. 
Alu object and a string object like that. Ah. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know, I don't know. The, so far, it's making sense. Does this... Is there a lower result? Oh, don't tell me that I broke Rust Analyzer. I broke Rust Analyzer. Wait, before doing this. Let's fix Rust Analyzer. Maybe because I didn't trust before, I don't know. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yes. So now, your suggestion here comes here. Uh, is this that? I don't think this is needed. Is needed? No, it's not needed. Let's run as is. Callback error. Okay. It's building. It's not running. Trace back, stack trace back. Function hello, string data, main chuck. Callback destructed. Let's go for the documentation. Um, this is a version of Lua Red function that creates a uh, callback which expires on a scope drop. On a scope drop. Uh, maybe we, we don't want that. Maybe we just want the regular one. It is simple, it's simple, we can just remove this and this and do this. And now globals uh, push? Uh, no. How did ChatGPT do this? Wait a second. It grabs globals. Globals.set. Okay. Um, uh, function is called hello. Hmm. User data is not satisfied. Uh, you are lying to me. Um, do 
you have. Is this what it's asking me for? Create. Is there more documentation? Is that there are tutorials or something? Because that's missing. Have create function. Um, Following types implement trade Lua user data. Arc under C. Send implemented for result Lua function Lua error. You want either the function or the parameter to be an arc or something. And, um, I don't think you want this into an arc, right? Giving freaking ownership over that. Uh, globals. So the problem is the set. Uh, okay. Um, let's do it blindly. Totally blindly. You still don't like it. Oh, the things that this returns an okay, an empty okay, can it return nothing? Is so the maybe not? This one was working. The code from ChatGPT was working from a scope. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need a scope. And uh, hello. No, I had this hello. This was building. But then I need to understand what the scope is, because it's getting out of scope. I was temporarily creating Lua user data and callbacks that are not required to be sent or static. Ah.
And it says, see the Lua scope for more details. I'm clicking and it's sending me here. Ah, no. It's not sending me anywhere. No, but I'm... Ah, here. The scope parameter gives the function the ability to create user data and call for more rest and uh, set it left time for any function or user data that will stop. The completion of this method call. So it's created automatically draw to the reference and then the description scope with the result. That's what is happening. So this scope lasts only for this part. So that's why this doesn't work. What if I do this? Okay, that does work. Uh, is Lua dot or should be scope dot load? No, it's Lua dot. Okay. Okay, so this is calling hello, which comes from the global hello, which is the hello function, which the hello function com comes from the or hello function here. So the or hello function is doing a format hello and the name and then it's being passed world so this comes in here and it's being printed so we are executing rust from lua okay we learn something we learn something i mean that's not trivial that is not trivial okay are we good to see the The real deal. This is already erroring out. So starting by Lua context is not in here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, in the BVI example with uh, M Lua that you provided, um, Lua context is defined. Okay, you can create a new Lua instance and store it in a Lua context extract. What is the point of this? What is the point of this ChatGPT? That doesn't make any freaking sense. This Lua context is for a different thing. This is something that needs to come move entity. Ooh, 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 because this is calling. Okay, we need to fix. Okay, um, uh, I'm still trying to get ChatGPT to fix it. Okay, one, one other time, one other time. Uh, crap. Control C is not what I want.
I assume that this is a type or, or an oversight. Yes, this is your oversight. And it should be world resources instead. Okay. Replace the context with world resources. D did you do that properly? Let's see. He doesn't mean a comment. Thank you. That's a way of fixing the code by. Still, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, what is this being called? Create function move entity. This is being passed to Lua. Entity ID XY. And you call this here. Why? Good question. Because um, this needs to come from BY. Let's try to get the position. Let's try to get a reference to a component. And the problem... The problem is that... Oh, because I don't know a lot of stuff that we need to make it... Like, do you know how to make this? How to mix both, both things together? Um... This is the problem. So I was hoping that ChatGPT will have better knowledge already on how to do this. But it's as confused as I am. The problem is that you, what we want here... Uh, ha -ha. Obviously, I, I want ChatGPT to give me a working example of the combination, which is hard to get. I'm not going to get it from Google by searching a template that does that. I don't think so. Maybe we need to start fixing other stuff. So uh, let's comment this out. That should be correct. And now, Prelude components not implemented for position. Where this comes from? Oh, you forgot the derive. Okay. Okay, so far so good. The reference, whatever. Next. Oh, the lava, for the lava god. Okay. Spawn argument is missing. Yeah, this is the problem is that this is old old code. So um, mm, this is a very bad warning. That, that tips me off every single time. Is that this is scriptable by Rust? With Rust? They have GD native. Oh, okay. Uh, 
thanks. No, that's not what I want. Spawns a bundle. Spawns a bundle. Uh, no, it seems that we can use the same Godot library for a scripting with Rust. Uh, color material, but this one works. Um, is this the right type? Spread bundle. It implemented it. No, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't do that. No. Um. Uh, this should be. Come on. I just need a freaking sample that does similar. I have no idea okay, if Rust scripting is just in time compiled or not. I guess it's not. I guess you have to pre-build it. Uh, that will be my first guess. System setup. Spawn. See, spread bundle. There is a spread bundle already. That comes probably from Prelude. Yeah, and. Uh, It has transform from texture visibility, computed visibility. I think we can just ignore it. I need to refresh my mind. Let's see. Mm, rect, rect. My boy, today we will be visiting a country in Central Europe, and it goes. Can I use default? Move entity system. Move entity system. Uh, this will be old code. It's just like that. And it's not add system. It's not. It's a schedule? We just saw this. Uh, up new at system. Um, 
axis, cam Okay. Lua create function. Yeah, this is the problem that we were having there. This not a scope properly. It wants. Entity of thirty two of thirty two. You know what they say? Move entity. Ah, it's because entity doesn't implement. Beer. I think I'll go for a beer now. It's because entity does not implement. Uh, What is this? Position. Commands entity insert position. No, this is incorrect. Move entity system. So we call this. And uh, we actually want. No, there's no no. Ah, oh, crap! No, 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 no. No. The problem is that we want to extract this function from here, and we want to call it from here. So we want to call Lua from Rust, and then when it goes into Lua, it will call. It can call Rust from here, which is not even implemented. There is a lot of work here. I'm not going to be able to do this in one stream. <laughs> this is this is a lot of work. Yeah, and this doesn't do anything. Uh, how I'm feeling about it? I'm feeling that it needs a lot of knowledge that I am missing. Missing a ton of knowledge here. But I don't know how... So, I know the steps, but first, needs, this needs to be adapted into a proper... Uh, application for BVI 0.9 because this code is old so I will need a sample code because the problem is that this code so first it needs to be adapted into into, into proper BVI code then we are still needing figuring out how to call this function But wait, this is wrong. Move entity, which is... So you create this function here. It has created the function twice. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. ChatGPT got this wrong. Got this wrong, so... It's something like it's something like um, move ttvxy and then something like uh, 
I mean, I don't know Lua really, you know. To explain how should move it, and then from here you call. That also doesn't make any sense. Wait, no, we want we want to use this as, as kind of a plugin that uh, an external script can tell us how to move our objects, for example, how to change the position. Uh, so then, get rid of. No, okay, okay, okay. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I was doing it improperly. No, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. In here. You do something like move entity, entity ID XY, like that, and uh, something like this, which this one calls our function, and we can. And this called update, and this called update the values as you want. So this creates the the API, the functions that you have available from Bevy into the uh, Lua code. And now from here you do something like uh, Lua uh, move uh, entity position dot x position dot y <sighs> or lua dot update let's call it the uh, update entity it needs to be something like that but yeah I lack a lot of knowledge here. So it needs a lot of studying. I cannot jump here into a stream and make this work straight away. Um, so my feeling is that it is doable. The API is there. Uh, expecting me to just make this work. Renders a sprite. Okay. 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 Um, uh, don't put a texture. Do we have? Do we have a something here? And now he doesn't want to build. For the love of God. Seriously. Seriously. He doesn't want to build. For some particular reason, Bivai doesn't want to build. So yeah, if you want to make this happen, you need to put a lot of effort into it. A lot of effort. 
You'll need a few tutorials, probably, I don't know if there are... If there is anything... Okay, this has run something at least. The release works. But the documentation of the MLUA crate is zero. Okay. Um, I'll go for dinner. I'll go for dinner. I mean, baby has tutorials. Come on. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll stop the stream for now because I don't have anything to add uh, right now. I might stream later. See you.